Someone told me about the 43 folders system from getting things done. Uh, they, I just learned about it today and I wanted to try and implement it. I, currently what I've been doing is I have this running seven day week and I add things to the, I have a backlog and done items. I, Anyway, this, this ended up getting too cumbersome because I was scheduling too much. I still don't know. I may go back to it. I don't know. I think I can make improvements to how I'm using it. But the 43 folders thing sounded interesting. I thought I should give it a try. So what that is um, is a system where you have uh, 31 days in a month. And then you have 12 months. So the total, you'll have total of four, uh, 43 file folders in the physical world. So if you have a file folder for each month, you can take 31 folders and put inside the current month uh, at the beginning of the month. And then as each day goes by, you complete the items that you've scheduled for the first, for example, when the first is over, you finish those items or I guess reschedule them if you don't uh, get them finished and then move the empty file folder for the first day of the month to the first day of the next month. So it's fairly simple or what I plan to do is fairly straightforward here. Ignore all of this. This is not part of the system. This is just what I was currently using. So what I want to change to is currently we're in um, what are we in May? See, this is how lost I am. So we're in May, um, and it is technically May 22nd. So we'll start with the 23rd for tomorrow. So 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. And then we'll do June. And then we have to do the first uh, number. See, we're, I'm starting toward the end of the month, so it's kind of confusing how I'm doing this, but I hope it'll make sense by the end. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oops. 15. 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Wait, wait, wait. Today's the 23rd, right? Or uh, tomorrow's the 23rd, so that's where we started. So let's just archive this one. Or I should have renamed it. It's okay. So that was June. Then we do July, August, September, October, November. December. Okay, so now we have our 12 months and these numbers are within the month. So for May, we have these dates left in May. So I don't know what I need to do tomorrow, but the, let's see. Finish fixing the door panel handle in the truck. Okay. So that's a task I need to get done. I may not do it tomorrow, but for instance, if I don't get it done tomorrow, I'll move it here and then move this date to June. So it's empty. This Each day the, the file folder gets emptied, but this prevents um, anything from slipping through the cracks. Everything gets scheduled. Um, my plan... I don't know how cumbersome this is going to be, but I hope to, with physical mail that comes through, take pictures of it and then load the images into this system. So put the images, put the image on a card. We'll see how that works. So things that aren't for the upcoming month or the next month, see how, like say I had something for June 25th. I would have to put it in the June folder because I don't have a, the 20, 25th folder is not in June yet. So I would just stick it in the June list. In Trello, it's called a list, but 
so they're lists instead of folders. So if it's like August or September, you just put it in here, and then when you get your date folders in there, then you schedule out those uh, items into those date folders. Um, the thing I ran into with the, my seven day week view is I had so many things that wouldn't get done. Uh, it's just, it's difficult to get, I, ha I had a lo long list of to do's that I would schedule and then not get them done. And then it was a bunch of moving cards to the next day. And then, uh, it just ended up being a lot of a real chore. But I wonder if the 43 folders thing, even though it is a chore, it's going to be better from the standpoint of scheduling. We'll just have to see. I'm gonna try it out and see how it goes. It'd be nice. The other thing I don't really like about using Trello like this, um, at least my first impression, is that it's annoying to have to scroll so far left and right to get to what I need. So if I wanna move this task to the next month, for instance, it's a lot of, it's a, it's just cumbersome to drag it so far. I mean, that sounds really lazy. And I, a physical file folder would be a little easier from that standpoint, but keeping up with all the paper and writing the notes and you're not having it with you when you're away. I, I just don't like any aspect of having the physical system and I don't want to manage both. So I'm going to try and just do it all in here because this is as close to a physical system as I can come up with that's digital. Um, yeah, we'll just, we'll give it a try, see how it goes.